enjoying the nice, those of us who are sick, I think we're all enjoying the <laughs> nice mild weather we have here. I know I that's not good. I think this mild weather's not good for us. That's what you said, Mike. We need so. to freeze yes. out the germs, right? It, it's a little um, <laughs> oh. morbid, but my mother used to say a mild winter makes a fat graveyard because she oh, studied uh, really? Eastern uh, European history, oh. Middle Ages. When you have mild weather, you didn't kill all the bugs, all the germs, all the, the plague, etc. Thanks, Mom, oh. for that. Okay. Reference at dinner time. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, on the sunnier things, here's what we see at the end of the day. A beautiful day along the front range with just some high, thin clouds. But sadly, I'd like to see some low, thick clouds would bring us some snow. That's not coming our way anytime soon. The radar screen just about clean aside from a couple of scattered light little high clouds. There's the big storm in the east. That is not going to... Uh, bring them any pleasure over the next 24 hours as the cold air comes in. Coastal flooding, then you can drop down to single digits. Sell a lot of ice. They'll be frozen in the streets in Boston out of this storm. And it's already four below at International Falls, 35 in Atlanta. Freeze warnings all the way down to South Florida tonight. 50 was our high, 24 the low temperature. Right now cooling off a bit at 40, 30 out at the airport. Pressure 30, 16 and winds from the southeast at 10 miles per hour. So the big storm in the northeast, quiet here, but a minor storm is on the map out to the west of us. Here it is. It's coming into the west coast with some rain and snow in northern California, Oregon, Washington. This thing is nothing like its uh, big brother out to the east of us, but it will move in here over the weekend and bring us some snow to the mountains and a chance of flurries down here on the plains. By morning, it's just high clouds along the front range. Pretty nice night. We'll see temperatures in the mid-20s in the Denver area. Our lows are normally in the teens. That's what will be up in Greeley and down to the single digits, Gunnison, Alamosa. Most of the mountain areas are going to be in the teens by morning and a mix of teens and 20s depending on elevation. A little cooler off in the northern sections of the front range where elevations are lower, higher elevations about upper 20s. By morning, high clouds, pretty sunrise, then mostly sunny on the plains. Isolated snow showers as that western storm starts to move into Colorado. Won't, won't amount too much in the mountains tomorrow, but a few spots above 11,000 feet might pick up an inch or so. 30s and 40s there. 50s once again on the eastern plains. We'll do about 55 in Denver, down to Highlands Ranch and Parker. Some 40s up in Weld and Morgan County for tomorrow. Mostly near 40 up at the ski resort. Tonight's forecast is mostly clear and cool, but certainly not cold for this time of year. 25 for a low. Tomorrow, the high temperature at 55 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Looking ahead, we will stay mild on the plains Saturday ahead of that western storm, and it's not a big deal, but it could produce three to six inches of snow in the mountains Saturday night through Sunday morning while we get some flurries and a little bit cooler. Then it's back to the 50s for a couple of days, but then check out next Thursday a potentially stronger storm coming up that while stronger, we might get an inch or two here in Denver, but the mountains could be seeing it maybe 6 to 12, which they would be very happy We'd to see. We'd all be thrilled. Yep. Thank you, Mike. I